Hello, good evening. Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? How do you feel today? Good. Good. So what about this rainy day? In the morning, it was raining, right? Yes, and in is what it was a lot of traffic too. There was. Yeah. There was. There was a lot of traffic. Yes. Mm -hmm. And in the afternoon, no rain, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about the other ones? Let's see, we have Carlos Escoto, we have Elizabeth Pineda, Katia, Carlos Israel, Astrid, Mario, eh, Maria, Katia. So what about your, your day? How was it? Good, so, so, Mercedes, good evening. Good very evening. stressful. Very stressful. Okay. Well, okay. Well, we're going to start with today's class. We have Jose that he is connecting right there. All right. So we're going to start with today's class and we have uh, the warm up. We have unit nine. We are going to cover unit nine today and we're going to move to um, the following unit as well. So we have a vocabulary. We also have a, the grammar part. And today we are going to take two quizzes. We are going to take the listening quiz and we are going to take a reading quiz. Okay, so we are going to take two quizzes. And remember that this unit is broccoli is good for you. We are going to start with the warm up. The warm up is a stop the bus. Okay, so today we are going to play with three categories. The first one is verb, adjective, and fruit. Okay, verb, adjective, and fruit. Three categories. Yeah. So let's see. I'm going to give you the letter, okay? I'm going to give you the letter and you need to look for a verb in present, an adjective and a fruit that start with that letter, okay? So we are going to start with the first letter, which is going to be letter, uh -huh. let me see, A, letter A. Okay, you have one minute. Once you have those, say uh -huh. stop the bus, okay? Once you have them, say stop the bus, please. Okay, verb with the letter A, adjective with the letter A, and fruit with the letter A. Stop the bus. Okay, Alexandra, go. Um, Attend. Attend. Angry. Angry. An apple. And apple. Very good. Alexandra. Excellent. Okay. Next letter. Okay. With the letter S. Letter S. Mm -hmm. A verb, an adjective, and a fruit. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's pink. All right, Astrid, go. Uh, swimming. Swim. Mm -hmm. Swim. Uh -huh. yeah. Swim. Um, sarcastic. Sarcastic, yes. Um, uh, <laughs> fruit. <laughs> no, come on, Astrid. <laughs> it, it is it is red, it's small. Uh, it's very yeah. <laughs> very, yes, okay, very good. Excellent. Okay. Next letter, okay. Let's see with the letter. Um, let me see with the letter W. 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 One minute. Okay. A winter, huh? Mm, okay, a verb, an adjective, and a fruit. Mm. 
stop the bus. Okay, Alexandra, go. Um, work. Work. Worried. Worried. And watermelon. Watermelon. Very good. Excellent. Okay, one more. All right. So let's see. With the letter, this one is very, very easy. B. Letter B. Okay. ¿Con cuál es el, el verbo, adjetivo y fruta? El letra B. 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 Mm. B. Stop the bus. Ok. Ah, sí. Ok, go. Eh, fruit, banana. Uh -huh. Adjetivo. Bus. Stop the bus. Yes, ok. And ah. verb, break. Ah. Verb. Break. Break. Okay. Very good. Astrid. Yes. Excellent. Okay. So the last one. Okay. This is the last one. Okay. Remember that you need to see a stop the bus. And the first one is the one that actually gets the point. Okay. So the last one, let me see. With the letter easy. C. Letter C. Letter C. Stop the bus. Okay, let's see. Ask it. <laughs> okay. Verb call. Okay, call. Yes. Adjective curly. Curly, yes. And fruit cherry. And fruit cherry. Excellent. Very good. So, Astrid, you are the winner for today, right? So, excellent. Very good. Okay, excellent, guys. Now let's move, let's move and let's talk about um, yesterday's class. Do you remember that yesterday we were talking about a reading? Yeah. So we were talking about this reading. So we also have some questions re related to this, but I would like uh, you to just recall what we studied yesterday, okay? So yesterday we were practicing with the simple present tense with the third person, okay? And we have this short reading, which is life on the space station. Yeah. So as you can see, we have different uh, words which are highlighted. Yeah. What is the meaning of highlighted? Resaltadas, right? So there are words that are highlighted here. Yeah. Now, circle doesn't or don't to complete each sentence. Let's see, guys. Okay, so number one, an astronaut, an astronaut on the International Space Station doesn't have a lot of free time. Number two. Astronauts don't work all day on Saturday. On Saturday. Why don't and no doesn't? Because it's plural. Because it's plural. Very good. Number three. An astronaut doesn't. Doesn't have a same. Uh -huh. Doesn't have? Doesn't. Doesn't have the same as. The get same as. Oh, no, no. Every day. Okay, a schedule. A schedule? Uh -huh, a schedule. Every day. Every day. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Number four. We doesn't or we don't? We don't. We don't. Perfect. And number five. I doesn't or I don't? I don't. I don't, I don't work. I don't. No. Very good. I don't work in an office. Number six, my office doesn't or my office don't? My office don't. Don't have a window. 
Doesn't. Aquí. No, doesn't, porque es da. it. Yes, because it's Aquí. it. Okay, yeah, very good, doesn't. Okay, so my office doesn't have a window. Okay. Number seven, okay, okay. Number seven, she doesn't or she don't? She doesn't. She doesn't, she doesn't she travel doesn't. for her job. Excellent, she doesn't travel for her job. Number eight, you doesn't or you don't? You don't, you have, don't you have, have a busy see. schedule. Schedule. Very good. Now let's work on pronunciation. Busy. 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 Excellent. Okay. Busy. Be. Busy. busy. No busy. Busy. Okay. Perfect. Let's continue. Let's continue. Okay. It says grammar check. Let's change. The affirmative statement to a negative statement. And we have the example. My brother has a job. Negative. My brother doesn't have a job. Number two. In negative. We have it in positive. So give it to me in negative. I don't drive to work. I don't drive work. to work. work. Excellent. What about number three? Pilots, Pilots don't, don't fix, fix plan, plane. planes. Don't fix planes. Fix plane. Okay. Very good. Number four. Our, Our teacher, teacher doesn't, doesn't work. Doesn't work. work. Oh, our teacher doesn't homework. Homework. Um, in the verb. Mm. Homework. No. The, the verb. verb. Homework <laughs> tarea. No, ese es un noun. Ese es un noun. Uh, no. do? Homework trabajo en casa. Yes, es tarea. Homework tarea. Yes. Mm. But which is the verb? Doesn't do. Doesn't. Doesn't do. Do. Does. Okay. Homework. Mm. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. mm. Yes. Okay. Remember, right? This one is the positive sentence. This is the verb. Now okay. we add the auxiliary, but the verb goes in base form. The same here. Look at number one. My brother has, and now in the negative, doesn't have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It changes. The mm audio. -hmm. Questions, preguntas? Mm -hmm. Doubts? Um, Me podría repetir lo de doesn't do? Yes. So in this case, it says, our teacher does homework. Aquí dice nuestra maestra o nuestro maestro hace mm. la tarea. Mm -hmm. In negative, como recordemos la estructura, va sujeto, verbo auxiliar negativo, verbo en su forma base y complemento. Entonces es, our teacher doesn't do homework. Porque va el verbo en su forma base. Entonces el verbo das es tercera persona. Pero como en la negativa lo ponemos en su forma base, es do, de hacer. Ajá. Ok. And this is very important, ok. Eso es muy importante. Que suele sucedernos que nos confundimos y decimos, pero ya llevamos. No, ese es el auxiliar. Ese de aquí es el auxiliar. Ese de aquí es el auxiliar. Okay. Y, co uh -huh. eh, y como ahí en la en donde dice our teacher does, está el does porque es tercera persona. Correcto. Eh, ah, ok. Uh -huh. Porque es tercera persona. Entonces por eso ya después ya va la forma base. Que Correct. Es, ah, ok. Uh -huh. Another example. Eh, si usted quiere decir, ella lava los platos. ¿Cómo lo diríamos? 
she washes. Um, vimos uno esa semana que no era de washes. Mm. She washes the dishes. No. ¿Cómo se dice lavar los, uh, los platos? Eh, la forma común, the common way is wash. Pero en realidad, en, um, existe otra manera más general de decirlo, que es does the dishes. Ok. Entonces, si usted quiere decir yo lavo los platos, usted tiene que decir I do the dishes. Uh -huh. Es una manera general. Eh, wash the dishes sí es aceptable, pero ya está quedando desfasado esa frase. El inglés también se va renovando. Ok. Entonces, yes. Now, fíjese aquí. Yo digo, I do the dishes, porque el verbo de hacer en su forma base es para I, you, we, and they. For he, she, and it, does. Entonces, si yo digo, ella lava los platos, voy a decir, she does the dishes. Vaya, ahora, si yo quiero pasar esas dos a negativo, ¿cómo sería? She doesn't, doesn't do, do the dishes. Do the dishes. Uh -huh. Do the dishes. Yes. Y la, I do the dishes, I... I don't. don't. I don't do, do the dishes. Do the dishes. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Check. Yes. O sea que en las oraciones negativas siempre sería el do. No, no en el caso de ella sería das. das. En, las, en las negativas no porque vamos a auxiliar, ¿ve? Y siempre auxiliar. sería el do. Sí. Correcto. Uh, Siempre sería el do como verbo, pero uh -huh. la auxiliar va a ser das. das. En la ¿Mm? Any other mm -hmm. ¿Alguna otra duda o pregunta? No? Ok. Let's continue. Let me erase this. Ok. Number five. I don't, I don't go, go to, the, to the gym, the gym I in the morning. the morning. I don't go to the gym in the morning. The morning. In the morning. In the morning. Okay, next. We don't, we don't have, have class, class on, on Sunday. Sunday. We don't have class on... Look at this, okay? Mira el día de mm. la semana. ¿Cómo lo escribo yo? Yo no lo escribo con letra minúscula. Oh. No, ¿ah? Lo escribo con... Mayúscula. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo se dice mayúscula y cómo se dice minúscula en inglés? Ajá. Ok. Mayúscula, capital, letter. Capital, letter. Letter. Minúscula, lowercase. Lowercase. Ok. So, uh -huh. I add Sunday with capital letter at the beginning. S. Capital letter. Why? ¿Por qué le agrego una letra mayúscula? Why? Porque es nombre. Porque es un nombre propio. Uh -huh. Es un nombre propio. Así como su nombre es un nombre propio. Usted no lo va a escribir con letra minúscula, la primera palabra, la letra. ¿Verdad? La escribe con mayúscula porque son nombres propios. Right? Uh, you teach biology. You don't, you don't teach, teach biology. biology. Repeat after biology. me. Biology. 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 No, Jose, biology. 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> biology. Yes. What does mean teach? A teach, enseñar. Oh, enseñar. Yes. Ajá. Uh -huh. Viene de teacher. Teach. The teacher. Teacher. Teach. Mm -hmm. Okay, number eight. We have. We don't, we we don't, don't have, 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 have an exam on Saturday night. Saturday night. An exam. Saturday night. An exam on Saturday. Look at that. 
capital letter, ok, Saturday. Uh -huh. No tomamos el examen el nice. sábado por la noche. Uh -huh. We don't have an exam. No tenemos un examen el sábado por la noche. Uh -huh. Very good. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok, guys, vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Necesito que me escriba tres oraciones en negativo. En negativo. Three. Right now. Y me los manda al chat o al WhatsApp, al, al grupo. Ok. I'll give you five minutes. Ok. Three. Tres, tres, tres. Negativas, solo negativas. Presente simple. Negativo. Uh -huh. Acá dijo, ¿verdad, teacher? Yes, here or on the WhatsApp group, donde le salga mejor a usted. Si aquí o en el WhatsApp, donde le salga mejor. Okay, if you have questions, I don't need your company. Yes. I don't understand your Mm. No. Eh, no entiendo tu trabajo. Eh, your work. Your eh, work. Uh -huh. Lo puse en gerundio, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Liliana, let me see. I don't always eat vegetables. She doesn't always drink coffee. He doesn't usually write the class. Very good. I don't have patience. <laughs> okay, Jose. Let me see. I don't live in San Salvador. She doesn't write a letter and we don't play soccer. Mm, Edwin. En la tercera le puso como una T de más y el apóstrofe se lo puso incorrecto. Astrid, I don't like, I don't like to drive. Porque aquí llevamos dos verbos, Astrid. I don't like to drive in the traffic. My sister doesn't drive a car. Los, um, los artículos, ¿ok? My sister sí, sí. doesn't drive a car. He doesn't sleep in the morning. Perfect. That one is okay. Number three is okay. Astrid. Tatiana Abigail. I don't take a shower. Um, prepositions. In the night. Mm -mm. At night. Tatiana. She doesn't buy chicken in the supermarket. Chicken. No está bien escrito. Le falta la C después de la I. De la I. The window doesn't have curtains. Okay. Eso está bien. I don't eat pizza. He doesn't get up early. They don't sleep. Mercedes, perfect. My mom doesn't eat fish. I do not work tomorrow. My dad doesn't play soccer. Perfect. Uh, Jenny, uh, I don't study with my classmate. Mm, Alexandra, la letra mayúscula al principio. Doctors don't sleep very well. She doesn't do the shopping. I don't speak English. Yes, you speak English. Okay, so, <laughs> Jose, we don't play soccer, okay? We don't, uh, we don't play soccer. 
I don't have an exam tomorrow. Mm -hmm. We are not going to the park. Mm. Daniela, number two. La número dos, Daniela, me la hizo con el going to, right? So it should be simple present. I don't like pasta. Yes. Alexandra, very good. Okay, let me see if somebody has uh, written on the WhatsApp. Let me see. I don't like bananas. I don't get up early on Fridays. I don't drink juice in the morning. My mom doesn't go to church on Monday. Mm. Fabiola, las letras mayúsculas en esos um, days of the week. I don't... Mm, I don't know. Drive? No sé conducir. No sé conducir. Ah, okay. I don't know how to drive. Diana, she doesn't work on Monday. Mm, la letra mayúscula en ese día de la semana. Uh, she doesn't work on Monday in the morning. The, in the morning, solo es una hora. I don't study tomorrow. We don't run in the park. Yes. I don't speak English. Mm, okay. Jose, eh, English is a proper noun. Es un nombre propio. Oh. Es tiene que ir con la letra mayúscula, la E. To capital letter. Capital letter. My sister doesn't have a car. My mom doesn't ride a bike. My boss doesn't use a computer. Yes. Very good. And Katia. I don't always dance at night. He doesn't usually work on weekends. We don't always play soccer. Perfect. This one is perfect. Uh, she doesn't leave early. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. I don't walk on. I don't walk in the morning. In the morning. He doesn't know how to write. He doesn't know how to drive. And in the morning, never on. In. I don't take a shower at night. She, she doesn't buy chicken in the supermarket. The window doesn't have curtains. Yes, Atiana. Cindy, I don't play soccer. We don't have a practice on Monday. My sister, yes. Okay, excellent. Very good, okay. Do you have any question? Tiene preguntas. Do you have any question? Do you have any doubt? Dudas, preguntas. If not, vamos con prepositions, okay? Prepositions, okay. Pay attention because this is very important. So, many time expressions are prepositional phrases, okay? A prepositional phrase is a preposition plus a noun. Look at the examples, okay? At 3.30. A las 3 y 30. In the afternoon. Nunca jamás va a ser on the afternoon. Nunca va a ser at the afternoon. Siempre va a ser in the afternoon. Siempre. Toda la vida. At night. Nunca va a ser in the night. Nunca va a ser on the night. Always at night. ¿Ok? On Sunday, look at this one, on Sunday. Never, never, never in Sunday, jamás in Sunday, jamás va a ser the Sunday, para decir el, el, el domingo, the Sunday, no. On Sunday, on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday, on Friday, on Saturday, and on Sunday. Yes, Eso ya están establecidas y no van a cambiar nunca. Yes. Teacher, y, y en ese caso, ¿hay una forma de saber en qué ocasión se va a utilizar cuál? Sí. Um, Puede, vaya, la ocasión va a ser siempre que diga esas expresiones. Por ejemplo, si usted siempre dice, quiere decir en la noche, siempre va a ser at night. ¿Sí? En la noche sí, sí. es at night. Si usted quiere decir en la tarde, 
in the afternoon. No hay otra manera de decir en la tarde. ¿Ya? En este caso, también las, eh, por ejemplo, si queremos decir nosotros en la mañana, vamos a decir in the morning. ¿Sí? In the morning. Nunca on the morning, nunca at the morning, nunca the morning. Ok, so in the morning, en la mañana, in the morning. ¿Sí? Ahora, la única que cambia, si se fija, es para decir en la noche. En la noche se va a decir at night. ¿Sí? Ahora tenemos more examples. The bank opens at nine o'clock. We relax at night. We go to work in the morning. We eat dinner in the evening. Teacher, it gets in the evening. In the evening is por la tarde. Pero de qué hora, a qué hora consideramos en la tarde, tarde noche. Desde las cinco hasta las ocho, nueve. ¿Sí? Así se considera in the evening. ¿Sí? ¿Yes? Cuando nosotros vamos, nos vamos a dormir, vamos a decir, o cuando nosotros saludamos, por eso que siempre yo le digo, good evening. No le digo good night. ¿Se ha fijado que yo no le digo good night? Le digo good evening. ¿Por qué? Porque son las siete, pero utilizamos evening todavía. Porque el good night es cuando nosotros nos vamos ya a dormir en la cama. ¿Sí? Entonces, in the evening es en un periodo de las 5 hasta las 8. ¿Ok? De, la, de todo este periodo que, que estamos. ¿Ok? Y para saludar también siempre va a ser good evening. No importa si son las 10 de la noche. Usted va a decir good night cuando usted ya se vaya a dormir. ¿Ok? Ahora, I don't work on Saturday on... Day of the week, día de la semana. The meeting is on Monday afternoon. Yes, on Monday afternoon, el lunes por la tarde. Yes. Ahora, look at this. Okay, look at this, guys. His birthday is on November 25th. Fecha específica, vamos a utilizar on. Yes. Decimos, en noviembre 25. Pero, ¿qué pasaría si yo solo quiero decir en noviembre? Diría, in November. Vuelvo a repetir, ¿ok? Fecha específica. Y aquí me equivoqué porque es con letra mayúscula. Fecha específica, ¿ok? Vamos a decir on plus the month y el date. Cuando hablamos de cumpleaños o cuando hablamos de alguna de algún evento importante. Si solo queremos decir el mes in November y a qué me refiero con esto. Por ejemplo, si yo le digo la fiesta va a ser en julio. ¿Sí? Algo que no es específico en julio. Le estoy diciendo el mes, pero no la fecha. Entonces, de party, la, la fiesta es en julio. The party is in July. Ahora, la fiesta es en julio 14. The party is on July 14th. Yes? Yes. Okay. Do you have questions? Preguntas? Siempre que tenga una fecha, entonces va a ser on, y si solo es el mes, sería in. Correct. Yes. That is correct. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. 
Very good. So now, another thing, otra cosa que es muy importante cuando estamos hablando de preposiciones, siguiente, yes. It says, she works from 9 to 5.30. To show when an activity begins and ends, use from and to. Cuando queremos decir nosotros, tenemos clase desde las 7 hasta las 8. Ese desde y ese hasta es from to. Yes. So, for example, our class is from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. My break, si algunos tienen break en sus trabajos, ok. My break is from 3 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. Uh -huh. Yo duermo de las 10 p.m. hasta las 6 de la mañana. So, I sleep from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. Yes? From 2. From 2. Uh -huh. Do you have questions? Did your question. Yes. Um, cuando digo my class eh, is, I, no le voy a agregar el front, pero cuando diga I class front, no. ahí sí se le agrega. No. Ok, vamos de nuevo. Veamos, cuando decimos con el is, vale, le vamos a poner dos ejemplos. Ok. For example, my English class is from. 7 p.m. to, y lo voy a poner en, en mayúsculas para que veamos, ¿ok? So, from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Y aquí utilizo verbo to be porque la idea es, mi clase de inglés es desde las 7 p.m. hasta las 8 p.m. Ahora, si yo quiero decir, eh, yo tomo un baño o yo me baño desde las 7 a.m. hasta las 8, para lo que se tardan bastante, ¿ok? So, I take a shower from, uy, from 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. Si se fija, aquí no utilizamos verbo to be porque la idea no lleva verbo to be. ¿Ok? Ok. Sí. Very good. Excellent. Do you have any other doubt? Somebody else? ¿Alguien más que tenga duda? No? Ok. So now let's move. It says we use Until to talk about an activity that continues up to a specific time. Until means hasta. hasta. For example, el banco, the bank is open until four o'clock. El banco está abierto hasta las cuatro de la tarde. Cuando uno dice, en nuestro español decimos nosotros eso, decimos, sí, este, ellos están abiertos hasta las tres. Ese hasta es until. Yo trabajo hasta las seis. I work until 6 p.m. Yes. Now, in the last example, it says he wakes up at 5.30 in the morning. A sentence can have more than one prepositional phrase. ¿Qué quiere decir? Que una oración puede tener preposiciones, más de una. 
Aquí tenemos, he wakes up at, primera preposición, 5.30 in, segunda preposición, preposition, in the morning. Yes? Do you have any doubt? Is there any doubt? Alguna duda? Alguna pregunta? About this? No. Okay. Mm. <clears throat> I don't understand nothing. <laughs> you didn't? Jose. Okay. So let's see. Guys, which is the preposition that we use for days of the week? Which is the preposition? Para decir nosotros el lunes, ¿qué preposición utilizamos? Which preposition? On. 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 Ok. Y aquí estábamos viendo. Mire, on, on. Yes. On. Diez de semana. Whenever we want to say a time during the day, ¿qué preposición utilizamos? Para decir el tiempo, la hora. At. At. at, at. Very good. So, if we want to say en la tarde, en la mañana, en la tarde noche, ¿cómo lo decimos? In, 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 in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. ¿Y cómo decimos entonces en la noche? Uh, in the night. Yes, at night. Yes. Mm -hmm. At night, no in the night, nunca jamás in the night, nunca, ok, at night, at bien, night. yes, and then from and to, desde hasta, she works from 9 to 5.30, ella trabaja desde las 9 hasta las 5.30, 5.30. The bank is open until four o'clock, until es hasta. Yeah. He wakes up at 5.30 in the morning. We can have more than one preposition in the same sentence. Now, let's move and let's work on these exercises. She works at night, night. never in the night, never. Okay. Now, what about number two? The meeting is... On weekend after? On Wednesday after? On. I sleep... At nine. At nine. nine. Thirty. In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. On Saturday. On, on Saturday. Saturday. Perfect. I work... On Monday. On Monday. On Monday. On Monday. On Friday. On Friday. On Friday. At Friday. Mm. Okay, mm. I work on Monday. Yep. On Friday. In Friday. Or I, I work. From, I work from Monday. Mm -hmm. To Friday. Yes, porque estamos diciendo trabajo desde lunes hasta viernes. Uh -huh. Desde un periodo hasta otro periodo. Number five. Class starts. At. At. at, at eight thirty. In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. We study number six. At night. At, at, night, night, night. at night. At night. Number seven. The library is open. From, from 11 o'clock. To at night. At night. From 11 o'clock. Okay. Desde. Desde las 11 o'clock. Okay. Mm. No. Vaya. The library open. The library, the library. Library. No. 
no until, until, uh, until, hasta, porque okay. no podemos abrir, abrir la biblioteca a las, a las once, I mean, de la noche, ¿verdad? No, the library is open until 11 o'clock. At, at night. night. At night. At night. At night. At night. Quiere decir que está abierta hasta las 11 de la noche. Después de las 11. Number 8. I, um, I, I have to from 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 12 to 1 every day. Yes, from 12 to 1, from 2, ok. Number 9, she goes to bed at 1 a.m. On, on Friday. On Friday and Saturday. Number 10, we have a break. At, 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 from at, 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 Do you have any question? Tiene preguntas, tiene dudas. No, right now? No. No, teacher. Okay, let's continue. Let's continue. More, more ex exercises, okay? More. I have breakfast at seven. Okay. English class starts. At, at, at 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Number three, we have class from 8 p.m. 8 p.m. At, 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 from 2 from, from, from p.m. Okay, let's see. We have, we have class from Ok, enfoquémonos en los días, no en la hora, en los días. Monday. 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 Uh -huh. From Monday. To. to Friday. 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 Oh, no, Thursday. 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 Uh -huh. Thursday. 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 In mm. 12 p.m. At, at 12. At 12 noon. Noon. Eso significa a las mediodía. 12 del mediodía. Y ¿Sí? moon. Será moon, luna. luna. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes. Number five. I have dinner. At 7 p.m. At 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Oh, 8 p.m. Okay. Or 8 p.m. Yes. Okay. Very good. You see? Well. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have questions? Tiene preguntas? Tiene dudas? Yeah? Okay. Bye. So... Vamos a tomar un pequeño quiz que no es relacionado a eso, ¿ok? Es relacionado a lectura. It's about reading. Reading, ¿ok? Lectura. Vamos a ver. Reading. Aquí está el, el link y el passcode que le va a pedir es reading en letras mayúsculas. ¿Sí? Vaya, tomen. Tómelo y cuando ya lo haya tomado, me dice, done, I finish. Okay. Um, I'll give you around five to eight minutes. Okay. Le voy a dar de cinco a ocho minutos para que lo pueda terminar. Pero le voy a pasar asistencia mientras tanto. 
Alexander Giselle. Present. Thank you. Astrid Gabriela Navarrete. Present. Thank you. Carlos Francisco Escoto. Carlos Francisco Escoto. Carlos Israel Estrada Alemán. Present. Thank you. Carlos Vidal Gómez. Carlos Vidal Gómez. Cindy Stephanie Ramírez. Present. Thank you. Damaris Milagro Ramírez. Damaris Milagro. No. Daniela Lisbeth Martínez. Present. Thank you. Ok. Diana Beatriz Reyes. Ahí es. Present. Thank you. Ediselda Elizabeth. Ediselda. Present. Ed oh, ok. Edwin Giovanni. Present. Thank you. Fabiola Jamilet. Present. Thank you. Ingrid Astrid Asunción. Present. Thank you. Jonathan David Sea Leiva. Present. Thank you. Jorge Mauricio Gutiérrez. Present. Thank you. José Alejandro Flores López. Yes. Present. Thank you. Katia Mayerly Granados Jiménez. Present. Thank you. Liliana del Tránsito Aguilar. Present. Thank you. Manuel Alexander Áviles Chacón. Manuel. Okay. María Vilma Cortés Rivas. Present. Thank you. Mario Guevara. Mercedes Present. Isabel. Thank you, Mario. Present. Thank you. Mirna Yamilet Reyes. Mirna. Me escribió Carlos Escoto, que al parecer está hablando para que no, no se le escuche. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Carlos. Thank you, yes, ok, ya, ya vi su mensaje. Thank you, Astrid. Um, uh -huh. Ok. Eh, Tatiana Abigail Rodríguez. Present. Thank you. And Jenny Lisbeth Tolosa. Present teacher. Ok, thank you. All right, guys, continue. Ok, continue. Ok, let me know once you have finished. Ok, cuando ya termine, me dice. I'm done. I'm done. Ok, thank you. Let me check. Ok, let me check. Let me check this course. Ok, thank you, Alessandra. I finish. Okay. Thank you. Let me see. Perfect. Excellent. Finish. Thank you. Let me see. Finish. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I can see that Edwin, excellent. Daniela, Jonathan, George, Mario Ernesto, Mercedes Isabel, Tatiana. Katia. Okay. Mm -hmm. Elizabeth, ok, Fabiola. Let 
let's wait for the other ones, okay? Let's wait for the other ones. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Was it difficult? Estaba difícil? Was it difficult? So, so. so, so. No. No. Poquito. A little bit. I'm missing some of you. Okay, todavía me faltan algunos. I finish. Yes, thank you. Yes, I can see that some of you got 100. I can see that some got 80s. Uh -huh. I finished, teacher. Thank you. Finished, teacher. Yes, excellent. Very good. Let me see. Uh -huh. Okay. So, um, before, uh, well, I think that the other one may be. Yes, okay. Let's continue guys with the, with the class, okay? Because we're almost done. Okay, so now let's move to this one. Okay, do you remember about this topic? Adverbs of frequency yeah we covered this topic so i need one volunteer to read one volunteer. okay thank you I, uh, go um grandma focus adverse of frequency always usually often sometime hardly ever never is sometime at breakfast. I eat. Uh -huh. I eat breakfast. Mm. Yes. And do you ever have fish to breakfast? For a breakfast? Yes. Uh -huh. I always do. Sometimes I do. No, I never do. Uh -huh. um, always, usually, often, sometimes. Hard ever and never. Okay. Guys, it says put the adverbs in the correct places. Okay. What do you usually have for breakfast? Huh. So, well, I often have coffee, cereal, and juice. Mm, la, la, la posición de los adverbios. ¿Se recuerda que lo vimos? Esas fueron las primeras clases que, que vimos. Entonces, la posición. Eso es lo que estamos estudiando. So, do you ever, ever, ever eat breakfast, breakfast at work? work? Excellent. What about this? I sometimes, I sometimes have breakfast at, at my desk. desk. Excellent. Next one. Do you, do you, do you usually, usually eat rice for breakfast? breakfast? Excellent. No, no I, I hardly, hardly ever, ever have, rice. have rice. Perfect. Unscramble the sentences. Vamos a descifrar la oración que está aquí. Number one, I never have breakfast on weekends. Number two, I, I hardly ever, ever eat ever. snacks at work. Excellent. I hardly ever eat snacks at work. Number three. I sometimes eat, eat pasta for dinner. for dinner. Excellent. Number four. I, I, I often... often Okay. Dinner. Oh, I often dinner. have dinner yeah. with my family. Perfect. Dinner okay. with, my family. with my family. Pronunciation. Always. 
Always. Always. Usually. 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 Often. Often. Sometimes. 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 Hardly ever. Hardly, Hardly ever. ever. Never. 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 Okay. Guys, just because of the time, we are going to stop right here, but we are going to continue tomorrow, okay? Thank you very much for connecting today. I hope you have a good night. Take care, okay? Good Bye -bye. night. Good night. Good, good, night. Good, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.